Hi, this is Travis from POSGuys.com. Today we're going to go over Google Cloud Print and how you enable printing from your mobile device to a desktop printer without having to directly have them paired. So what is Cloud Print? Cloud Print is part of Chrome, so it's a way that Google created for you to be able to print to connected printers uh, through any devices where you're logged in into Chrome itself, whether it's a browser in Windows or uh, Chrome on your mobile device or your phone. Uh, it even should work on iOS long as you have the correct version of Chrome. So in it, when you see the cloud print button on web pages, like this is on our POS Skies barcode generator, poskies.com slash barcode, we added the cloud print button so that uh, if you wanted to use cloud print, um, you know, you're generating the barcode on your phone, then you can click cloud print, print to your desktop printer. Um, so when you print, click cloud print, it brings up a uh, Chrome specific print dialog. It kind of replicates the Windows print dialog, but it's a little different. It's a little more simplified. Uh, you just select uh, your printer from the list and you can hit print. So the really cool thing about cloud print is that the printer doesn't need to be connected to that computer itself. So I physically have a USB connection on this printer to this uh, tablet right here, but you can print remotely even. So if you're on your phone and your phone is working off your cellular network and then you need to print something to like your home office, you know, you're creating product labels or something like that. Uh, you can print from your phone. You just select your home printer that can be miles and miles away and it'll spit out a label on uh, that printer. You don't have to be next to it. Uh, mobile printers like this one, which are paired over a connection. Again, if your cell device is not on the same network as it, but you need to print to it, you can do so go to cloud print and then you just select it from that dialog. This is a ZQ620 printer and we'll go ahead and print that same label on to the ZQ620. Um, so print it over there. So you can see the obvious advantages of Google printing allowing a lot of flexibility from using different devices to print to all printers. So that's the good part of it. The bad part for label printing is that it's not quite ready. There's a few limitations because it was designed mostly for document printing. It was a way to print sort of PDFs from your phone to your home desktop printer, your, your full-size inkjet laser printer. So the logic in it was really designed to accommodate the needs of those kinds of printer. The main thing being margin. So I'll show you a bunch of labels that we printed here. So one thing you might notice that's real common with all these labels is that there's this gap at the top. So that margin is because when you're printing on a document printer, it wants to put the margin by default because not all printers can print edge to edge. So it's a way to um, accommodate that. So it automatically puts margins in. Taking those margins out is really difficult. You have to do some kind of uh, trickery with it. You can do things like increase the size of your document and when you do that it goes from kind of adding margins in on the side to then being uh, wider there so you know you can see this has actual document size and this is wider additionally in the print dialog there's some things that talk about stretching or filling you can select some of those different settings and then it'll fill up the label a little bit more um, so you, you have to do a little bit of trickery because it really wasn't designed for that. Products do exist 
that allow more perfect printing to different label printers. Siegel Bartender Enterprise has a, um, a, a add-on that allows you to again print from your mobile device to a remote printer, but it's designed to use that label. So it'll fill it up. It has very specific prompts. It has a um, dialogue that you follow that allows it to really take advantage of label printing. You can use serialization, you can use images, things like that. So that, that's an advanced version designed specifically for uh, the label printing market. Cloud print itself is being used in that capacity, but it wasn't designed for it. So there's some limitations currently. I'm sure in the future, these kinds of limitations will be an afterthought and there won't really be a problem anymore. But as of right now, just keep that in mind. We've had a lot more success using larger labels than using really small labels. Uh, the thinner the labels are, like we were trying to print very small serial numbers and it, it was almost impossible to really fill up that full label. Um, but this you know, two inch by two inch label, we were able to take advantage of probably 80% of it. So it worked out pretty good. And just the versatility of being able to print from all different devices is really nice. So we'll go into the details on how you set that up. All right, first things first, how do you set up the printer to print? Uh, first of all, you have to install the Windows drivers. This is um, kind of a, the only workaround on that is if you have a cloud print enabled printer. None of the point of sale printers or label printers at this time are cloud print enabled. Zebra has something that allows printing from the cloud, but it's not Google Cloud Print. So don't get mistaken there on it. You will need a Windows uh, tablet. You know, this is a tablet that works or a uh, Windows PC to uh, be essentially the print server. There's also some devices out there, I have not tested one personally, that are designed to just be a cloud print printer. So it's a very, very, very small device that you plug the printers in directly and they just sit in the corner of your room. So those things exist, but you, you'll you need a print server and that's kind of the secret behind it all. You have to log into Chrome. So all printers are connected to a specific account. So in Chrome itself, you, you have to log in, okay? Once you're logged in, you go to one of their kind of hidden menus of sort. You type in the word Chrome and you're going to put in Chrome backslash backslash devices. So this will give you a list of all the devices that you have. This is not just devices directly connected to it. This is any device that you've associated with that account. And then you can manage your printers, you can add them. Uh, you have to add classic printers. There's two sections here. We're gonna do classic printers. So if you click disconnect, then you connect add again. You'll see all the printers available to you. This list is generated through your Windows print list. Those are all the devices connected in Windows. And then you click add printers and then they're added. If you go back to uh, the devices section, you'll see all the printers available. Uh, after it's added, you can see manage your printers and you'll see all the devices available to you. So that's a list of all the printers. It keeps track of different print jobs, etc. There's a lot more tutorials on cloud printing if you want to get into the nitty gritty of it. But essentially, once it's connected into uh, the cloud print environment, it's available to be print to. It's going to use the Windows settings as well. So there's a few things you'll need to do. In Windows, you'll have to go to the printing preferences for it and you're gonna play with your stock size. So like I said, these are technically two and a quarter by two inch labels, but my cloud print size here is much bigger. That's because like we talked about earlier, it's trying to emulate a document. So when you go into the shrink settings, if you don't have it in a 
kind of a ratio of height to width ratio that mimics a document the stretching gets weird it puts in a lot of margin it prints very tiny things kind of in the middle of it so you'll have to play um, the width I add about half an inch to each side so you add an inch total to your label size that'll stretch it towards the edges a little bit uh, and then you pick a height ratio that kind of matches it and makes it a good profile shape. So when you do that, then it should take full size, you know, advantage of the full label as much as you can. You can't get around that margin at the top. Um, not easily. There, there's, there's some tricks that you could do, but that's for another video. Um, after that set, it's going to be trial and error. You're going to do a lot of print jobs. You're going to print, see if you're uh, image or your barcode is cut off it is then you have to adjust the height and the width and eventually you'll get a combination that works correctly okay so what do you have to do on your mobile device to enable cloud print not too much basically you're just kind of logging into your Google account that shares the printer information so if you're in Chrome you have to have Chrome on your device so if you're using iOS download Chrome you can't use Safari Android comes with Chrome normally uh, so make sure that it's a, an updated version. The first time you click a cloud print version, if you're not logged in, then it's going to prompt you for your information. So once you uh, put in your info, then you'll see your printer list there. So it's going to be that same printer list. The first printer is the last printer that you use. You click on it, it's going to be the same dialog screen. It's just kind of... Uh, set up for mobile and you can pretty much leave all the settings you know I did create a custom label size it's the one that says cloud print 3 um, but when, after it prints it sort of remembers the last print that you use and it creates its own paper size so that's why you see that custom one there so I just leave it the orientation this is one that you might have to change um, if you set up your page so that it looks like a piece of paper then it'll default to portrait and you don't need to change this if it's more rectangular in shape then what it often does is it rotates the label and it'll print it um, instead of printing it across the label it print it up and down um, so you might have problems with that so if you ever see a small little barcode switch it to portrait and then it should do a better job printing or you're gonna have to adjust your label size like I said there's a lot of trial and error that comes with this once you hit print, then it's going to print and it's going to use that Windows uh, computer as your print server. So click print and then it creates a new job. And once the printer is on, it goes away and then your printer should print. Uh, from the mobile devices, it tends to take a little bit longer because it has to route the job through the um, Windows computer. And there it printed. Uh, I had to actually wake up the computer. It's under my desk right now. Uh, let me try print one more time. Getting a new print job, and it shouldn't take quite as long as before. It should be a little, little snappier than that. There you go. That's about what I expected. Uh, and then the print job should be the same as before, and it matches the previous iterations out there. So let's take a look at iOS next. From iOS, it's going to be a similar experience. Open up Chrome, go to the page with Cloud Print enabled, click the Cloud Print button, and if you haven't logged in before, it's going to ask you to log in. Once you're logged in, you'll see the same printers, the same dialog screen. It's going to be the same process as Android and Windows. Uh, it repeats on everything. Google does this on purpose so that it's uh, nice and familiar with anything that you use. I'm going to print to the same printer, the same uh, barcode information, and it should look exactly the same as the previous uh, uh, label that was printed. And there it goes, it printed. Uh, you know, at any time, if you want to print to a different printer, if I want to go mobile again and print to the ZQ620, I just select the ZQ620 from the list, click print. And then the print job will switch from the ZD620 to the ZQ620, so then I can do portable printing. 
and they were printed on the ZQ620, so same process. So what's a way that you could use cloud print? You know, how, how can it be useful? Uh, one is a very simple scan and print application if you're just kind of trying to recreate a label that exists. Um, so if you have either a Bluetooth scanner paired to your mobile device or you have a device with a built-in scanner like this one, uh, then you know you, you bring up poskies.com slash barcode in the input field, select your content there, and uh, you can just simply scan the previous barcode. So you know, here I'll scan this one that is printed out. It puts the info into the field, generates the barcode, and then you can click cloud print, and then I'll print once more on the ZD620. So, you know, if you're doing like a packing list application and you just need a copy of the barcode, there you go. That's kind of an easy way to do it. Adding cloud print into your own web application is pretty simple. Your own website, uh, Google has a nice uh, informational tutorial on how to do that. And then you can print either images or you can print the screen or you can print text, depending on what you want to do. Uh, adding in that functionality is not too difficult overall. So that's the basics of cloud print. It works with pretty much any Android, iOS, mobile device. It works on Windows. Uh, you can pair Bluetooth scanners. You can use USB printers as long as you have it plugged into a Windows PC somewhere. Uh, you can use mobile printers as long as it's on the same network or if it has a Bluetooth pairing with the Windows uh, device. You can use uh, mobile computers from different manufacturers with different manufacturers printers it doesn't have to all be zebra this is a honeywell mobile computer this is a zebra scanner um, so you can kind of get very creative with uh, what you're using and it's pretty flexible so overall it's a good tool but it's still in development like i said it's generated for uh, full-size document printing so you're going to have to tweak things to make it work with a label printer but it can be done through some simple trial and error and you can get some kind of basic results. Uh, cloud print is also showing up for receipt printing for cloud-based point of sale. We'll go through that in a different video. This is label printing for today. Uh, for more information on cloud print or to purchase printers, scanners, mobile computers, please visit us at tosguys.com. Thanks.